you should always celebrate and recognize the wins, no matter how small or how big. And he said, don't fall into an all or nothing trap. You have to be careful with the judgments you make about yourself. Another podcast summary review, as you can tell, and we are just going to get right into it. I'm loving these short intros. So here we go. The Hardcore Self-Help Podcast by Dr. Robert Death. Hmm. This one, I am so glad I found this. I had to Google. Um, podcast, self-help podcast. Because I wasn't hearing about any. So um, this one is episode 241 called Coping with Loneliness and Negative Self perceptions and insecurities especially during covid times it's real out here what, like what else can we say and let's go a little bit into a background on mr dr robert duff so dr robert duff is a psychologist that focuses on mental health he also hosts a podcast we are talking about today and is a best-selling author and has a YouTube channel. And I think he started his YouTube uh, channel pretty recently from what it sounded like. So love that. Platforms are amazing. And his specialty is taking complex psychological issues and breaking them down into plain language. I mean, that's what... That's what everybody needs right now is that person who can uncomplicate things when we complicate them. Like, I still don't understand why we do that. Why do we make everything so complicated? And the crazy part is it's a habit. We have trained our brains to do that. Um, in certain situations. Other certain situations would be like if you've had trauma, you know, that's a little bit different. Well, I should say a lot different. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Not really my best work, but uh, we'll go for it. We can do it for now. It's a messy look, it'll be all right. Learning not to care, learning to let go, it's all a part of the process. You can learn that through anything. Makeup, driving, singing, dancing, roller skating, whatever. As long as it works. Okay, let me explain this first. So this episode, or I should say these podcast episodes from what I can see, because again, I just found it. He does this thing where he answers a couple questions. And that's what the podcast episode is about when people write in and ask questions. And the two that I've seen, the two episodes that I have seen, that so far that's what he's done. Um, so that's kind of what this will be like. And I'm going to like summarize it. And obviously I'm not summarizing everything. So definitely go support and go listen, download, and share. So he starts off with question number one, which is a heavy question where this woman asks, you know, what does she do? She needs help because she's got anxiety, depression, OCD. She's been to a therapist to try and get help. And she feels very lonely because she was married and her husband ended up leaving her. And she could be losing her job on top of all that. So she needed help to figure out what she should do. So he goes into explaining, you can be doing everything right, right? <laughs> and still be suffering and just not be happy. You can be doing all the right things and still feel maybe crappy or sad or whatever the case is. And I'm really glad he touched on that because I, that's also not talked about enough. Like how it's okay that you're sad right now. You don't have to change that or force that immediately. That's a slow process depending on what you've been through or what you're sad about or a longer process like what if it's a death and you just lost somebody 
that's a longer process. So I, I'm really glad he started with that. And then he talks about the common saying, which is it's difficult to heal in the environment that is hurting you. And I was like, mm, this can relate to a lot of people where like, say maybe you have like a toxic parent and you're 15 and you can't leave the house. That is some people's reality where they can't escape the environment they in they are in they just can't leave so especially with what's been going on in the world like so much is changing and so you just kind of have to be aware of that if you're trying to heal and you're in that environment that's hurting you and you can't put that to rest of course that's going to be difficult <sighs> because you can't escape covid and it's happening all around the world it you know and again this came out in february so he says you should try to adjust your expectations which means accepting the fact that you should not be doing okay and recognize that it's going to be hard it's going to be difficult and not all days are going to be easy and you shouldn't have a high high expectation of that i mean how many areas in this woman's life was affected she said she's about to lose her job she lost her husband and she just got diagnosed with all these different things in her therapy session like that's a lot to take in that's going to take time to sink in as well and he's saying you should be aware of that. He says you should recognize that you're not going to be okay. And that your life is, I guess, falling. Um, I guess that your life is falling apart or breaking down. And it is okay that all you're doing is just getting by. And taking it day by day. That you're just, you're doing dinner. You're just trying to get through each and every single day. That is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And I like that he normalized that. Because COVID changed a lot. Not just like people being sick, but it affected so much. And so then you have to go through personal stuff on top of those already categories that are affected. Like that's got to be hard very hard i can't even imagine so celebrate the win celebrate okay i got through this day now we're gonna take tomorrow step by step same thing and i like that he normalized that that was very comforting then he goes into the pandemic will not last forever which again i love because sometimes when you're going through something you forget this is just right now this is not going to be a forever thing and you forget and so he does a good job of reminding you it's only right now and just try to wait it out and then he mentions this phrase about hurting and healing and it was it was a good one. Oh my gosh it was amazing but okay i'm gonna let you go listen to it so don't forget to go listen and the metaphor was the same and it backed up the phrase that he was talking about it was awesome so he goes into tell yourself you are doing a good job. Tells her you got to try to help others and oh, he lists other volunteering volun volunteering ideas and uh he said the website is Seven Cups and where you go on there and you can become a peer listener for other people. And I don't know, I felt like this podcast he actually gave legitimate solutions and not just like the stereotypical solutions so i really enjoyed that he had a lot of knowledge and came with the good stuff okay you gotta go here so then he suggests for her to be creative in multiple different types of ways and i won't go into um i won't go into all his answers because they were really good though oh my gosh you guys have to go listen to this podcast and um he said get creative with how you be social which um he said one of them was playing cards against humanity over zooms or doing book clubs 
and like some of this I know is not going to be completely relatable because we're towards the end of it where like the bands are being lifted and people are getting their um their vaccines and stuff like that everything's opening back up slowly but you know if this was you and you didn't want to completely go out into the world or you wanted to slowly step back in it then try it this way and he said don't fall into an all or nothing trap you have to be careful with the judgments you make about yourself and one of the examples he talked about was dating and he said that you know you shouldn't get too hard on yourself and judge yourself about if you're trying to look for someone and date within these times because it's not a normal time so why would you base your like your normal how did he put it like basically somebody would be saying i can't find anyone i'm not good enough but yet the variable of everybody being at home is what really is the issue it's not you it's the scenery it's the environment so why would you come down on yourself for that and i thought that was um i thought that was interesting so for that question he ended it with um judgments on yourself so take into consideration what's really happening and what's really going on in the world right now but you can also use that to like a personal situation of yours like if you're going through something then use that and if you're going through something try to think like what's really happening right now within my life within my environment and try not to be too hard on yourself because a lot is going on right now so question number two was a female had called in talking about her problems with her worth and feeling sexy and desirable because her boyfriend was looking at OnlyFans and she couldn't help but think like, is she still desirable to him? And wanted advice, especially now that TikTok has become so big, she wasn't sure what to do. And he came in and said, he is glad that this female had communicated with her boyfriend the boundaries in the relationship because she also noted that she went to him because she was so worried and concerned and she didn't know what to do so she went to him and told him hey like I just want to communicate our boundaries within this relationship so he was congratulating not congratulating he was recognizing that because a lot of people can't do that and have that discussion and so he said that was like the first step, which she already did. She communicated and discussed the boundaries. And then he said, social comparison is rough. It's one thing that adds to a thinking trap where it's called mental filtering, where we have a negative bias about ourselves and end up looking for evidence to support that bias. So it's the same thing I talked about in my video of Matthew and when he was being interviewed on women of impact and it's basically where you subconsciously or consciously feel a certain way within yourself like i'm not good enough so he's gonna end up cheating on me because i'm not worthy enough and you feel that way so whatever your partner does you're going to look for evidence that supports the way you feel and that's not okay because you shouldn't even be feeling that way in the first place. So I love that. Hearing that a second time, I was all for it. And then he talks about because of that insecurity, you start to look for things and you interrupt things that you see or you experience that validates the insecurity. And it's not, it's, it's not good. It's not healthy. And you know try to be aware of that so he goes over that and then one of the things he didn't say this but this is what i'm calling it i'm calling it a golden nugget where he says physical beauty and other forms of beauty are subjective which means people feel differently about other people right people, everybody knows what subjective means if photography is subjective then you know, different people find photography 
good or bad, like what looks good, what looks bad, because it is subjective. It's whatever your opinion is, right? Just in case. I, I'm trying to be as detailed as I can here, okay? Don't hate. So it's like, think about your favorite celebrity crush, right? Let's go with, um, who's, who's a celebrity everybody knows of? That's just like easy to name. Um, I'm blanking. How is that happening? Let's do, oh, let's do Kevin Hart. I follow him on Instagram, so let's do that, right? Some people might find him 10 out of 10. But other people might find him 4 out of 10, right? It makes sense. So if you remember that about physical beauty and different forms of physical beauty, then you'll remember what you feel is not, what you feel and think is not what somebody else is feeling and thinking. So just try to be careful of the judgments within yourself. And when you compare yourself to another female or another male, you know, next thing he said was question your amount of time on social media. You have to be aware of what actually makes you feel sexy and confident because it's most likely going to be something you take action in and not really your physical appearance. So he said, take a dance class or pick up a side hustle to earn extra money to buy you those outfits that you want. Because she also mentioned the clothes that some of these influencers were wearing. And then he lists websites you can go to to find out more about. I, this guy actually came with like hardcore solutions. I love it. And he also said, also be careful of always feeling like something bad is going to happen within the relationship because that tension and that issue will cause the relationship to actually suffer, which ends up leading to something bad actually happening. And he says like cheating, infidelity, etc., etc. And then he says, try pouring that energy into improving the relationship not worrying about the relationship. So yeah, I love how he answered these questions. Like the questions were realistic questions and then the way he answered them gave alternative solutions that a lot of people don't think about. And let me just say this, my favorite thing about this podcast is that he starts off every single episode that, well, I shouldn't say every single episode, but every single episode that I listen to, his little intro that sounds like it would be on every episode starts off with saying, you know, remember he does have his degree, he is a therapist, but he's not your therapist. And so he's trying to give a general answer that he think would help out everybody, but yet this is not your personal diagnosis. And he understands that if some of these are triggering, you need to click off. And he then encourages you, if you can try to listen to it and push yourself a little bit, then he would be happy to hear that. It was, it, it was amazing. It seemed like he genuinely cared. I, I will be doing more about this. And after he answered the questions, he always gave the person credit first before he gave a solution, which I also noticed. I thought that was amazing. You really do need to recognize somebody's small wins because they can't always do it. You should always celebrate and recognize the wins, no matter how small or how big. All right, please let me know if you liked this video. Please let me know if you go listen to this podcast. I think you should. It's absolutely amazing. And I hope you have a good night or a good day, and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Sure, okay, my grays are living. My skin looks dry, it's okay. Oh, I didn't even teeth check. We're good. Okay. This looks wild. Oh, wow. That looks so good. Wow, I just love this method. I should have been doing this. I don't use a beauty blender anymore, guys, at all fingers and brushes. And so he says, 
you should because you should not you should and then he said the pandemic will not last forever in this phase about oh and then he, uh oh he lists other volunteering fallen and then he talks about where you have an insecurity I follow him. I f be careful. Be careful of always feeling like something bad is going to happen within the relationship because that issue causes the relationship to suffer, which ends up leading to something bad actually happening. Happening. <laughs> something bad actually happening. I did it again. <laughs> something bad actually happening <laughs> that sounds terrible um scratch all that <laughs> so yeah then he um ends it with love it starts off every oh just kidding this is so surreal i have my own youtube channel Sometimes you just need to be present in the moment. President? Sometimes you just need to be present in the moment. Whew. Love you.